today we're going on an exciting adventure and we will tell you all about that in a minute and we're going to take you with us. But first, farm tours. And farm tours start with Jack, the strong young man unloading feed. We went and picked up feed the other day and we haven't unloaded it yet so we need to do that before we head out on our little road trip adventure. Good to work, buddy. We got, what we did this time was we had them um, formulate beef for us that would work for pigs and chickens. Uh, their requirements are a little bit different, but they did a mix. A mix that's a little bit more balanced towards both. Whoop. And what we, we wanted to go ahead with whole grains because we like to soak them. Um, we're doing a three-day soak right now to ferment it for pigs and chickens. So um, when we soak it, you get like 30% more feed. Um, if you watch Justin Roach's channel, you see that he's done that. We've been doing this for um, a lot of years. Probably pretty pretty much since we had chickens in the beginning, we started soaking feed. feed. Um, when we had pellets when we were in Florida, and we had the more uh, of the, the blended feed where they grind it up, it doesn't do as well. So, well, pellets can't soak. <laughs> they turn to a complete mush. But um, we like the whole grains. And we are going to do an experiment with the whole grains, too. That'll be another video, and we will show you that as well. Um, but we're pretty excited to do that. How many bags do each of these barrels hold? Three. Do so you have these? What size are they? 31 gallon trash cans. And they hold three bags each. So fill that one up, and we fill the other one up. And then we have this empty tub sitting here for a long time. And we'll so I think we're going to put uh, our loose minerals in here. Alright, I'm going to have to yell at you a little bit because it's raining, so I don't know how loud it is on the camera versus me talking. But anyway, this fun strapping young man just finished unloading all the feed for me. Um, I'm not a whole lot of help. I'm a you know, cheerleader and moral support more than anything, but in uh, the frizzle, the frizzle, my favorite chicken, we're just hanging out, helping out, watching, doing nothing really. Anyway, um, we're going to load up. we got to make sure all the kids are dressed decently to be seen in public. That's always a challenge. And, no, I'm kidding. But anyway, all the hairs are brushed, teeth brushed, all that, because we got to head out. All right, we are on the road. Oh, I knocked something down. Coffee in hand. A trusted driver. Sometimes. Most of the time. Well. Occasionally I get this thing that I made up called vehicular anxiety. <laughs> that's not occasionally, that's pretty much the whole time we drive. I get a little nervous when I'm in a vehicle. I don't know why. I don't know how I drive without you over there though. I mean like on the days when I'm mowing. <laughs> it's a wonder I come back home alive. It's a wonder. I keep it. I'm like, yeah, whatever. I don't know how I make it. Alright guys. There they are. The whole crew. And we are on a road trip. We have about four hours to go. And, and the GPS uh, is powering off. So I don't know how to get uh -oh. there. Yeah, it's fine. But I know where I'm Yeah, going. wild. Okay. I was fixing the GPS. Sort of. Okay, got it. Anyway, without further ado, we are headed to North Carolina to a meetup that um, is some homesteaders of YouTube <laughs> meetup. Sorry, my coffee's trying to spill. This is this is called real life, y'all. This is what it's like in our vehicle. <laughs> and we are um, it's being hosted by several people, uh, the Justin Rose family, um, R and Bree, the Holler family. So the land and farm life outfitters, I believe, are the five people hosting it. It's at a park and it's a picnic. We brought our own um, bread ham and we're making stuff to make ham sandwiches. Ham, stuff to make ham sandwiches. We make bread this morning and we are um, good to go. We're excited. We're gonna go get to meet people in person who we've been watching on YouTube for a while. People we've been communicating with on um, YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and all that. And we're finally meeting in person, so we're really excited about that to get to, you know, actually meet them. Absolutely. So, alright, we're going to bring you along and let you meet them too. Of course, you've probably already seen them on YouTube, but anyway, <laughs> you can see us meeting them. 
All right, you guys, see those very foreboding looking clouds? I don't know if you can tell there's bands of rain over there. We are fixing to drive through that. Fun times will be had by all. But we have our trusted driver, and I will not get stressed out or freaked out. You've only gotten stressed out like three times That's so it. far. <laughs> We're like an hour from home. Yeah. So, you know, my vehicular anxiety. I got some essential oils on me. I'll put some oils on and then I'll be out. <laughs> Kidding. Woo, that person's stopping right in front of us. That was exciting. See? See? <laughs> I just did it. They weren't really like right in front of us. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, we're going to go drive into a rainstorm. nothing I mean I'm sure there's a wreck or something here but hopefully it wasn't bad nobody got hurt but anyway um yeah so hopefully this doesn't take very long to get through yeah we have like a 20 minute buffer yeah we do have a that will be late yeah if we so we do have a little yeah, bit we of we could kill like 20 minutes but it'll be okay yeah but we'll see we'll see what happens I mean traffic is moving yeah it's crawling along it's not, along. Stopped, it's not... It's just uh <laughs> I don't know if it's just a bad traffic time for this area or well, there's actually a crash or something. It is getting close to the 5 o'clock hour, so yeah. it could just be the traffic time. But That's what I'm thinking. Alrighty. Alright, we made it and we're really excited. We're driving random park, pulling up. I saw people that I know online and from <laughs> YouTube and I was like, this is so weird. Actually seeing people like not on a screen. So anyway, alright. We're gonna get out and meet everybody. All right, so we are here. Pretty crazy. There's Art and Bree. We saw Justin Rhodes over there. There's Flip Flop Barnyard. <laughs> So the land right there. Hi. Hi. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Derek. 
Derek. I'm Derek, yep. And you're Art? Art. Yep. What's your name? Jenna. Jenna, very cool. She recognized Yes. Yeah. Can I say hi? Alright, so this is really cool. We're meeting people, getting to know people. Yeah, people. Some of them. Yeah. Well, two people do. So. Three knew who I was. Yes, I'm just getting better lighting. Really and we took a picture. Yes. We'll kind of geek out a little bit here. And then we're going to go over here and meet the holidays in a minute. Absolutely. Too many people here for you. For you. She is like, what is going on? <laughs> That's her face the whole time. Everybody's like, oh, aren't you sweet? Cute. And she's like, uh, <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> like so much fun we had a it really was. good time met some really cool people um did you guys have fun yeah. yeah yeah the kids had a great time they had a playground so they got to play with the kids and um just it was fun to meet people it that was. we've seen online and everybody was just really sweet and nice and um some of us have connected online already before some hadn't and then some people yeah. walked up to us and were like we know you so that was really cool they watch our channel yeah. and we met um there's a young lady or a young mom named Courtney mm -hmm. and their Highway Homestead. They have a YouTube channel that's really new, so I would love it if you guys would jump over to her channel and check her out and subscribe to them and help them grow their channel because we just really enjoy talking to her. She was um, really sweet and loved what they had going on over yes, there. They're, so They're in the process of building their homestead. Yeah, I think it's me fun to watch them build their um, in Tennessee and just, yeah, I think that would be. Yeah be a good thing to do so go check her out but yeah all in all we've had a really fun time really good day we are actually at um earth fair in the parking lot <laughs> so yes. we get some things some snacks for the kids for the way home and it's a four-hour ride and it's after seven so by the time we head out it's gonna be close we'll to eight home. and we'll be home yeah, around midnight night. so anyway yeah, we gotta pull the calf um, yeah oh yeah we gotta pull the calf <laughs> <laughs> not gonna get much milk in the morning no. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we're going to head out, but we are really glad that we decided to take this adventure today. Look at these cool old cars, guys. So, we decided to order Earth Fair pizza because everybody was hungry. And we didn't actually eat at the thing, and we were worried we brought ham and bread, and we were worried our ham was not cold, so we were like, mm, we might we weren't sure about eating it. So we were like, well, we'll just order pizza. So we ordered pizza at Earth Fair. And then we put it in the GPS and we drove there and we waited 30 minutes and we went in to get it. And 
I like, put wait, we killed thirty minutes. We killed in the thirty park. minutes in the parking lot to get the pizza. Wait on the pizza to be done. But I may have said maybe we should just go in and order it. But he was already on the phone with them, so they were like, Well, we'll just order on the phone. And then we went to get it and we were at the wrong one. <laughs> so now we are at the right earth fair like 20 minutes later and we had to call them and tell them we really were coming which is because they're it's gotten late so their pizza department like little bakery was closing so they said we will save your pizza for you and someone will give it to you but um yeah okay so now we're gonna go get our dinner